Hey guys, it's Dr. Mo. Take a little walk. Um, had to grab the mail from the office. And there's a bunch of it. Um, snail mail, lots of it. Insurance companies usually trying to tell me what to do, uh, which I find entertaining since we don't take insurance. But anyhow, the reason I'm on here is because I had this thought, woke up with a thought that you can be in one of two states, fear or flow. You can't be in both. You're either in the flow of the universe, doing what you're called to do, or you're living out of fear. And I grew up with a lot of fear. That's where a lot of my issues come from. So I'm intimately familiar with fear. And it takes daily work on my part, a lot of daily work, to stay out of fear not get buffeted by external circumstances you know when things stop or when things change to sit in a stable place and then i just got news that something big changed again and i'm like well if this is the way we're going this is the way we're going and every change that happens in this business makes us better that's why i've got a kick-ass lawyer team behind me because everything we do is above board. Everything we do is in service of the patient. And that's it, you know? Anyhow, so, still obviously a little fear there because like, we just got news, you know? Nothing that'll affect any patients. None of our patients are affected. Every, everything here is business as usual. But, our educational resources have paused because we had so many administrative things to deal with. My ability to be present with patients takes longer because of the administrative crap that we have to deal with. So I'm finding workarounds. I have a fantastic team flanking me, supporting me. But I think this is important as both a patient, because I am a patient, and a provider. I'm not only I'm not only a hair club president. I'm a, I'm a patient. No, just kidding. Um, those of you who remember those commercials. But I am a patient, and that's first and foremost. What brought me here is my my own journey. You know, and there's always fear, right? What if we can't get something, or what if something gets taken away? What if you know? What if something changes? What happens when the other shoe drops? Well, there's two places you can live, right? I can sit there and I could give you a list of 500 things that could go wrong, or I can spend the time that I would make that list and say, okay, well, what's going on right now and what needs to be done? Because that's where, that's flow. And last week at the beginning of the week, this week, I guess, maybe, it's been a long week, it's only Friday. At the beginning of this week, um, I'll be honest, it was a rough go. And I was completely shut down. I just had a, a lot of, and those of you who are on school know my, like I posted, I had to start setting some boundaries. I had to start figuring out what my job is here with my patients. And my job with both patients and providers and staff, I guess that's more than both, that's all, is to make sure we stay on the right side of the street. You know, people will ask me, you know, what do I eat? How do I do this? How do I navigate this process? And it is sometimes financial, right? But that's my job is to help guide. Kind of a co-pilot, right? You're always the pilot in your own life, but I am your co-pilot. Whether you're my patient, whether you're one of the providers in my group, whether you're one of my C-suites sitting next to me. You know, we're, we're in this journey together. <laughs> like I say, we're the peanut gallery, you know? We're all a bunch of nuts here. And that's why at Active Medical Solutions, we stand by the mission, which is unparalleled support to patients, providers, and staff. Now, my shortened mission statement that's on the website is simple, sustainable service. Um, because that's really what we do. It's got to be sustainable, right? If I'm, if I'm forking over money to foot the bill and not collecting it from 
patient care and or resources we provide, then we go under. And I can't provide any resources for patients. I got back to you soon. I'm not done with my thought. So the long and short of it is I have a lot to be afraid of. I have more to be grateful for. And you know, even more than that, I can feel in my gut when I'm in the flow of the universe. You know, and you can call it your higher power, you can call it God, call it the universe, whatever. Uh, he who shall not be named, no, just kidding. Um, <laughs> I didn't call it Bob, don't care. But when you're in the flow of the universe, you can feel it. And even throughout this discussion, I am confident that any changes that come our way, we can navigate because we have. You know, and, and Ashley is coming up with some really good, Neil's always got a good perspective. He's like, hey, next time, this is the plan. Okay, got it, thank you. Ashley, okay, what happens if this happens? Okay, got it. So instead of being reactive, we have now completely shifted resources into proactive. And that puts us into flow. And that allows my heart rate to come down. It just allows things to flow. Anyhow. Um, same with being a patient, you know, the, the more stressed out you are about what diet do I follow? How many days apart do I take my meds? Listen, if you don't want to think about it, don't think about it. Take them when the prescription says to. Don't think about it. I outsource a lot. And that's one of the things people know. I am a Monday morning kind of gal. You know what? I don't want to think about it because my brain's going to offer me 18 suggestions that I don't need to take. You know what I do need to take? my medication. So, okay, decision made, done. I don't think about it, that's when I do it. People, when are you gonna go off? I don't know, all I know is I'm taking it on Monday. Right, and that's from a patient perspective. So, there's a lot that you don't have to think about, right? It doesn't have to be dramatic. This doesn't have to be a huge, oh my God, what is it gonna look like a year from now? I don't, I don't know. All I know is that I'm gonna do the best thing for patients, providers, and staff today because that's what I'm here for anyhow um states are on the website here's my disclaimers right uh I'm not your doctor whether even if I am your doctor I'm not your doctor here this is social media not doctor media uh this is not construe a patient doctor relationship in any way shape or form this is me waxing poetic about something I woke up thinking about that literally took me just about 12 hours to get out of my brain and to you guys. So, all right. I always try to make these like three minutes. <sighs> We're at eight. And you know that if you're on my Wednesday lives, I talk a lot. So, all right. Dr. Mo, we'll chat soon. <laughs>